Laughing Ball was born to be a clown. He was very popular, and he always made the audience laugh. Whenever anyone saw him, they couldn't stop laughing. We freaks, hideously deformed and shunned by society. The circus was our home. Night after night, we would keep the audience entertained. Sometimes they would laugh and clap. Sometimes they would recoil in disgust. It was our fate to live in the shadows. We had to stay in the circus. We couldn't go out walking among the normal people, living like this. It was hard not to sink in despair. Laughing Ball always made us feel better. He was able to keep our spirits up and take our minds off of our tragic fate. If we were depressed, he would roll himself into a ball and bounce around the tent, giggling and laughing all the while. It always cheers us up. His smile gave us the courage to go on. Just laugh, he would say. Always laugh. Laughing Ball had a little son. He was only a few inches tall, and everyone called him the kid. He could fit into the palm of your hand. He was so cute, and we all loved him. Then one day, something terrible happened. The kid was playing outside when he was stung by a bee. Laughing Ball found him and brought him back inside. The kid was dead. All of the other freaks gathered around, and when we saw the kid laid out on a handkerchief, we couldn't stop crying. We told Laughing Ball how sorry we were, but when he turned around, we saw that he was smiling from ear to ear. Don't cry, folks! He said. Look! Even though my son is dead, he still has a smile on his face. Then he started laughing. Laugh! Always laugh! <laughs> Laughing Ball, you don't have to laugh, said one of the freaks. You know, for one day, you could let yourself cry, said another. Said another. The poor Laughing Ball just couldn't stop laughing. Night and day, he just bounced and rolled around the tent. Laughing and laughing and laughing. It began to get on our nerves. Don't you have a heart? One of the freaks shouted. Your son is dead. Don't you have any feelings as a parent? We were so angry that we stopped speaking to Laughing Ball. We shunned him and acted as if he didn't exist. Laughing Ball went to his bedroom and looked at his face in the mirror. Now I understand, he said to himself. My face is all wrong. My son may be dead, but I still have a happy face. No matter what I try, nothing works. And in the end, I'm stuck with his smiling face. Laughing Ball picked up a knife. If only I didn't have this face, he said. Then everyone would like me again. The next morning, we heard someone crying. It sounded like Laughing Ball. We all came out of our rooms to see what was going on. When we saw Laughing Ball, we were coiled in horror. Our cruelty had driven him to the extreme. Hey! Hey, look at me! Don't you see my face is crying? But still, Laughing Ball couldn't help himself. He had to laugh. <laughs> After that, Laughing Ball never went on stage again. Audiences would be horrified if they saw his face. He can't make anyone laugh anymore. But he still goes on, laughing and bouncing around the tent as usual. That's why he's still called Laughing Ball.